Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be setting up our November weekly budgets using my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This is what it looks like. And um, if you are new to my channel, my husband and I like to budget on a weekly basis, essentially because we are paid on a weekly basis. So we have alternating paydays. So every Friday we get a paycheck that comes in and we like to look at the week ahead, you know, what bills are coming up, what expenses do we have coming up, um, you know, what events are coming up that we're gonna need um, some sort of budget for. And um, that's just kind of like the way that we like to do things. So it works really well for us personally. Um, let me know in the comments below how you like to budget, if it's bi-weekly, monthly, weekly. I mean, we all do things so differently here, but we all have the same goal in mind to be financially responsible as much as possible, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'm going to be using today is the Always a Reason and Season to Celebrate sticker book. This is edition three by Erin Condren and I'm gonna be using her November um, spread here. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay down our washi. Um, I have to decide, blue, brown. I think I'm gonna do the blue since I did the brown over here. So let's go ahead and get that down. And it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Okay, so that is down. And then let's see. I think I'm just gonna do these gold leaves that are right here. I think that'll look really good. I like to kind of cover up these flags. I just, I don't know, they bother me for some reason. <laughs> okay, so let's put this guy right here. And something right over here. And I want this actually to cover up that white asterisk. So maybe, yeah, I'll do it that way. Okay, awesome, awesome. And let's see. I think what I'll do is, I'm gonna use this square box right here and I'm gonna put um, weekly. Budgets. And I think I'm just gonna kind of put that right in the middle part of this top right here. Is that straight-ish? A little bit crooked. Okay. So next what I'm going to do is just take one of these circles up here and put it right alongside here. And put that out. Um, week one, which is the second through the eighth. And then 
then I'm going to put expense. And I'm gonna list the expenses and then draw my line in after. So from this paycheck and our rollover from the last month, we are going to pay Southwest Gas and Water, Sewer, Trash, And I think I want to do like a little there. I don't know. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have our landscaping. And he's actually coming. He came today and he's coming again Tuesday. Um, and then I always put a buffer making sure we're always leaving at least $100 in our checking account, just, just in case. Um, and then we're gonna be taking out our cash. So that's gonna be um, 50 plus 125 plus 30 plus 15 plus 15, so 235 for the cash. Just wanna make sure I knew that. And then our gasoline. So we have a second checking account that we use for our gas. And I just transfer whatever we need for the month actually over. So our first paycheck of the month pays for our whole month of gas, if that makes sense. And then lastly, is gonna be Citibank. Okay, so next I'm going to draw my line. It's like right here. Oh, and before I forget, I always put unbudgeted in here. We obviously don't budget for unbudgeted, but I like to put it there just so we're tracking. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna do a check mark so we can check off like when we take everything out, when we get the cash out of the ATM, pay the bill, etc. And then we're gonna do estimate. And actual. And then over and under. Okay, so for Southwest Gas, let's see if I can actually zoom you guys in just a smidgen. There we go. So for that South, what the Southwest Gas, we're gonna be estimating $31. It's not really an estimate, I've already gotten the bill. Um, water, sewer, and trash. 90.86, landscaping was 100, and we actually took that out already. And then $100 buffer. Cash we took out, and that was 235. Gas, we're giving ourselves 250 for the month of November. 
Citibank is three hundred forty-seven twenty-four, and then unbudgeted obviously doesn't get any sort of budget. And then we're going to do our total. And I want to draw a line up here. And right here. And then we're just going to add everything up. And you'll want to keep in mind that we also roll over because we because we budget on a weekly basis, we roll over income from the previous month into the current month. So yeah. Um so for math sakes, it's kind of it's hard to figure out like probably from your end how this all adds up, but for us, it makes sense. <laughs> 250 plus 347, 24. So that's an estimate of 100, or I'm sorry, 1,154 dollars and 10 cents. And then for the ones that we checked already, well, actually landscaping, I'm going to leave because he might not charge us the whole hundred. Um, our buffer is definitely a hundred. The cash we took out already, and that was 235. The gas we transferred over already. And I already made my payment to Citibank. So that was good, good, and good. Okay, I'll just put little dollar signs in here. All right, so that is week one's budget. So these are all of the expenses that we're gonna pay. Um, Cash includes groceries, um, family fund money, um, our pocket money, and our bulk budget. So that's what goes into that. I just decided not to list all those individual things out for probably obvious reasons. Um, I want to be able to have enough space for week two's budget down here. So I'm going to actually get week two's budget started but I will be doing a separate video. So the way that my finance videos are gonna work, I'm just starting my channel, as you probably know. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how I want to kind of divide up all of the videos and things like that. So I think when a fresh new month is starting, I am going to set up my sinking funds page over here for you guys as one video and then set up my um, monthly spread with our debt balances and everything in a separate video. And then I will set up our overall monthly budget in a separate video, the weekly check-in page and cash envelopes in a separate video. And then my weekly budgets I'm going to be posting once a week, just obviously for week one, it's not gonna include a cash envelopes because I've already posted that with the weekly um, check-in. But I'll do for week two, which will be next week, or no, later this week technically. Um, for week two, I'll do the week two budget plan with the week one budget results and then the cash envelope stuffing. So that's kind of how that's gonna work. I don't know if any of that made sense, but <laughs> bear with me as I'm figuring all this out. Um, 
And if you have any suggestions, if there's anything specific you wanna see, of course, let me know too. I would love some feedback. So this is just gonna be week two, and I'm just gonna get this like set up so I don't have as much to do when this comes around. So this is gonna be for November 9th through is it the 15th and then that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for that um, so that is it for my week one budget setup um, obviously I'm not gonna be putting all of them in because it's gonna just all vary depending on how many expenses there are in that particular week like I might have to like continue week two onto this page and there's five pay periods um, in November too, so that'll be interesting trying to figure out how to get that all to fit on here. But um, that is it for this video. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe um, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you have any questions or comments at all, please definitely leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.